Hello, welcome to the Mayan Department at Home. If you were at camp with us last summer, you'll remember that the Mayan Department was a very, very messy and super fun space. So before you begin your project today, please make sure you're somewhere where you are get messy and you can easily clean it up. Our project today is we are making um, kind of a puffy, slimy paint, which uh, using materials that you have at your house, and um, it's pretty messy and kind of gooey and a lot of fun. The materials that you'll need for your project are self-rising flour, but if you don't have self-rising flour, which I don't, you can use regular all-purpose flour and baking powder. You'll need lots of salt. You can use kosher salt or iodized salt. The thinner the salt, the better, the smaller the flakes. You'll need colorful spices that you can find around the house. I've got paprika, cinnamon, turmeric, curry. It's gonna be very smelly. And some kind of canvas, and this being the Mayan department, it is cardboard, leftover cardboard for us. But you could use, um, I recommend something that's pretty strong because this paint is very heavy. So if you're not using cardboard, um, you could use something like a few sheets of paper on top of each other or something else that's pretty strong like that. To make the base paint, if you have self-rising flour, you just put in a cup of self-rising flour. If you don't, like me, we're going to make self-rising flour. To make self-rising flour, you take one cup of regular flour, all-purpose flour, one cup of flour, and you put it in the bowl. Once you have your cup of flour in the bowl, you add half of a tablespoon of baking powder. Next, once you've had put in the flour and the baking powder, you're going to put in a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Then you'll mix it around. Now you've made self-rising flour. Congratulations! We're going to move on to the next step. Next, you'll add a tablespoon of salt. However much water you add will change the texture of the paint. So you don't want to add too much or it'll get too liquidy. You'll add a little bit of water, make it into a nice consistency that you like, and then we'll be separating it into the different cups. in my water and I've got a good kind of smooth and gooey consistency. Now I'm going to pour it into different cups. Once you've filled your cups with your base white paint, you can add whichever spices you like to make whatever colors you want. We're going to add paprika, cinnamon, turmeric, and curry. These are all going to make reds and oranges and yellows, lots of earth tones, and they're also going to smell really interesting too. So make sure that you take a whiff, but no, do not eat the paint, but make sure you smell it and see if it, if you like the smells or if you don't like the smells and if you like the texture of the paint, just pay attention to all of the senses when you're using this kind of paint. Now you can use your paint to make whatever you want on your paper. You take the Q-tip or something similar to Q-tip 
and you dip it in and now you can spread it on your um, cardboard or whatever you're using as your canvas. If you find that the paint is hard to spread and you want to do it in a different way, you're welcome to experiment with it. Or if it's too thick, you can add some water to it. If it's too thin, you can try adding some flour, however you want to do it. If you want to get really messy with it, you can use your hands, as long as your parents or whoever is working with you says it's okay. You can take your hands in it and smush around. If you don't want to mix colors, my assistant just suggested having some way of wiping your finger in between. Great idea. So we're using a paper towel just to wipe your finger to get it to be clean. I I really like using my hands for this kind of stuff so I'm using my hands. Um, because we've got baking soda mixed in with the flour it actually should be kind of puffy and you can play around with that and try building different layers of paint. See if you can get it to stand up or if you want to smear it around. Think about what it feels like. Think about what it smells like. Which ones are the smelliest paints? Which of the spices? You like that one? That's the cinnamon one. Yeah. I don't like that one. This one was paprika. Hmm. You can also add to your design by using some things you find around the house, like I'm using a fork to scratch into my design. And that's it. And after a few hours or maybe overnight, um, your piece will start to dry. When it's totally dry, um, it'll have a fun texture. It should dry a little puffy. Uh, mine's not finished drying. Um, and you'll have a beautiful puffy paint masterpiece that also still probably smells really good. I hope you had fun uh, making art with us today and I'll see you this summer.